multiple copies of one image, kind of like a stamp. We've done this a lot in the classroom. Today we're going to be creating a monoprint. A monoprint is a little bit different because you're just making one print or one copy of your image or your design. And we're going to use some unique tools today to create our mono print. We're going to be using a muffin tin. Okay? We're actually going to be using the bottom of a muffin tin. And if you do not have a muffin tin or one's not available for you to use, you can also use the bottom of a smooth cup. So I found this cup in my cabinet. I flipped it and the bottom is pretty smooth. It doesn't, it does not go dip um, underneath. So this could also work if you don't have a muffin tin. You will also need white paper and one or more colors of paint. This idea for the muffin tin mono prints, I first saw in this great book called Art Workshop for Children. And since then, I've seen a, a lot of different um, muffin tin print variations, and I'm gonna show you some different ideas that you can do with your prints after you make them. Okay, we're set up with all of our materials and we are almost ready to make our muffin tin prints. Before we start, we need to cut down our paper so that it is, they're little squares, a little larger than these circles. So I'm going to cut some strips of paper. then cut them into squares. And they do not have to be perfect. I just want them so that they are a little larger than the circle, but not so big that when I press down, they're going to touch the other circles. So I have my stack of paper, I have my paint, and I have six colors of paint and a little bit of white. If you only have one color or two colors, that's fine. If you're using more than one color, um, I want you to remember the color wheel. And if you're mixing more than one color on one circle, you wanna be careful that you're mixing analogous colors. So colors that are close to each other on the color wheel if you mix colors that are across from each other, they might not mix into a color that you are wanting or expecting, but it's something that you can try and play around with. So I'm gonna start, I have my paintbrush and I'm going to, I have my paper towel here. I'm going to blot it to get it a little bit dry so it's not dripping with water. I'm gonna take a little bit of paint and I'm just gonna kind of lay it on the muffin tin. I think I might do two at a time. Okay, and I'm not rinsing in between. Um, you're welcome to rinse and then dry off your brush, but for this, I'm just grabbing a little bit of paint and sort of lay, layering it on. That's the fun of this, is you're, you just don't know how it's gonna turn out. So I kind of did red, orange, and yellow. All right. I'm not mixing it too much. I don't want it to turn into one color. I'm keeping it so that I see a little red, a little yellow, and a little orange. Okay, I'm gonna take my paper and I'm going to just press down and try not to move it. It is sort of um, slippery, so just be careful. I'm trying not to move it as I make my print. I'm pressing without moving it. And when I peel it up, it reveals a cool print and it actually has a really neat texture in there because I added a pretty good layer of paint. So I'm gonna set this to dry, take my next paper, lay it down, 
And I'm using this hand to um, apply some pressure to hold it so it won't move. And then I am pressing to make sure the paint transfers in all the other spaces. Peel it up. Looks pretty cool. I'm gonna rinse, rinse, rinse. And I'm going to dry my brush just by swiping on my paper towel. And maybe I'll try this time maybe some blues and purples. So blue, I'll get a little purple in there. Looks pretty. Um, maybe I'll take a little purple here. Put some red. Another thing that you can try is to take a Q-tip and you can even squiggle some designs in there. Just play around and see what happens with your print. All right, take this and I'm ready to go. Peel it up, beautiful. Those are my favorite colors. Let's see how this one looks. We made a design with a Q-tip in there, so let's see how that turns out. Oh, it didn't really turn out, actually. I must have wiggled it and the paint squished together. You can see a little bit right here, but that's interesting. I was just trying that, so that's the fun thing about it. It seems so simple. But once you start making them, they're really fun to see how the prints turn out. And I could keep adding paint just to these four, but if I wanted to do different combinations, maybe if I wanted to add green, I might choose a clean circle. But if I'm gonna do yellow or orange, again, I, I can just go right back on this one. Ooh, I love that. So once you have a few, then you can decide how you would like to use them. I think that they, they look cool just like this. You could take this, you could cut it out or leave it like this and make it into a card, glue it onto a folded piece of paper and make it the front of a card. You could add details. And let's think about other ways we can use these beautiful muffin tin mono prints.